took off. That's the problem with trying to document this stuff while you're trying to do it. I'm actually not sure if, if it took off because of me or whether I just wanted to do something else, but now my big dilemma is do I keep lying here or do I try to move closer? Okay, so the one kingfisher I was photographing uh, took off and I was just about to stand up and then I saw there's another one over here about 30 feet away. So I'm glad I didn't stand up because it would have seen me and took off. So uh, I think I'll do a little bit more uh, crawling on my belly, slithering like a snake. See if that works. I did the trick before. And this camo is definitely also helping. <laughs>
So this spot here where we're at today is one of my favorite kingfisher spots um, due to several different reasons, but the main one being that I, I know the area here really well. I know the marsh here very well. I've spent a long time, like many hours and days, just observing the kingfishers here. So I, I understand their behavior here. I know where their favorite perches are, and I have an idea of kind of how their behavior changes through the day. So to some degree, I can predict their behavior, but there's always you know, a lot of randomness and, and luck involved because they, they usually have about maybe six to 10 favorite perches, but it varies a little bit from day to day, kind of which one they prefer. Um, and so there's always you know, some gambling involved, uh, especially when you have to wear you know, camo and be really quiet and sit down and, and don't move because you kind of have to you know, pick a spot that you believe in and then you have to stay there for a while, for a long time, and not move and hope the kingfishers come there. Um, but knowing the area and knowing their behavior in that area is absolutely crucial uh, to getting good close-up shots, in my experience. I've set up next to a different perch now. Where I've seen them come in and land, I snuck in. Doesn't get much better than that. The kingfisher came in and landed right in front of me, right on the branch that I was focused on, and it was 10 feet away, tops. Oh, there's a crow in the background now, but uh, yeah, it's such an amazing feeling when it finally comes together. It takes so much patience, it's so difficult to make this happen. So, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good right now, and I'm, I'm glad I could share this moment with you. Uh, if you liked the video, you know, please give me a like, you know, follow, follow my channel maybe, put on the alerts so you know when I put out new videos. And thank you so much for joining me on uh, my little adventure here. The crows are getting angry now, I better, uh, I better shut up again. Mm -hmm.